Today we're shooting some Ruger only 45 Colt loads that I loaded up and we're shooting them in my Ruger Blackhawk Bisley and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, if you want to see these rounds reloaded, go to my reloading channel and you'll see these being reloaded on there. I'll have a link in the description for you guys to go check that out. What we got here is a Lee 255 grain round flat nose bullet I casted up and powder coated. We have got accurate number nine powder. Starline Brass and a CCI Large Pistol Primer. Now these are warning Ruger only loads. This is from Hodgins website, but I modified it a little bit. So do not go off my load data. Do it at your own risk because this is a round flat point. They have semi wad cutter. So my overall length is a little bit different. So once again, warning, do not use my load data. So after all that, Let's go ahead and get loaded up and get started. All right, we got the first loads loaded up here. These are 20.6 grain at accurate number nine. I'm gonna have to tell you guys, I am a little bit nervous about these. Let's try this first round. I'm holding it with both hands, holding tight. Let's see what happens here. Wow, 1377. Those said 1200 in the book, but I don't know what their barrel length is. This is seven and a half inch. Let's try it again. There we go, 1369. 1378. 1392. And 1395, and I can tell you that's kicking back into my knuckle and hurting a little bit. If you can see the MGM gong in the background when I did hit it, you can see they're really close. I can tell you right now, the other ones that missed were on me flinching. But man, let's check those numbers out because I did not expect these to be that spicy. All right, the high on that one was 1395. Low was 1369. Average was 1382. Stream spread to 26. And a standard deviation of nine. Guys, I loaded these on a Lee Classic turret press that people say that you cannot get consistent rounds out of. I think I just proved them wrong on that. This has been my experience with that press that it works awesome. Let's go ahead and try the next load. Just in case you guys wanted to see the primers here, there you go. They're still rounded on the edges, but you can tell they're starting to flatten out on that. Let's move on to the next one. All right, round number two here. These are 22 grains of accurate number nine. Whoo, those first ones were a little bit stout. Let's try these out and see what these do. Man, these sound like a cannon going off. 1450. Got an error on that one. 1450 again. Let me make sure that this next one is going to work. 1449. 1454. Ooh, big flinch on there. Those ones hurt a little bit too. Let's go check those numbers out. All right, on that one we had a high of 1454. Low of 1449. Average of 14.51, stream spread of five, and a standard deviation of two, and that was with one error, but still outstanding. I'm very happy with that. Let's move on to the next one. All right, the primers on that one looks fine, but this one here does have a crack in it, so we're going to keep an eye on this next one just to be safe, because the next one is 23 grains. This one was hard to come out, and it does have a crack, but the rest of them were fine. This is Starline Brass, but it could be my crimp or something with this, too. I might have crimped them too tight, but I just wanted to let you guys know, because I show you guys everything that's good and bad. All right, 
23 grains of accurate number nine here. Let's see what these boogies down to you. 15 even. 1508. Ooh, I finally hit the plate. 1497. 1517. And 1515. Those stung a little bit. Let's check those numbers out. All right, on those we got a high of 1517, a low of 1497, average of 1507, stream spread of 20, and a standard deviation of 7, another outstanding one. We do have one more ladder. Let's try it out. All right, primer check on this. Primer check is good. We are starting to flatten out on it. Brass is good on all five of these. None of them cracked. Don't know why that happened, but we'll move on to the last ladder. All right, last ladder here. This is what I'm calling my max load of 23.5 grains. Let's see how these work here. 1521 15 15 15 I can tell you guys right now these are hurting my hand 1551 I'm not sure if that read again I can't remember what the last one was man look at that shake 1503 all right big flinch those ones hurt my hand a little bit let's check those numbers out all right on that one we had a high of 1551 a low of 1503 average of 1521 stream spread of 48 and a standard deviation 18 so definitely 23 grains that is about where it goes this one was not near as good so i wouldn't go any higher than that for my records once again, do not do what I do. Do your own ladder testing. I am not liable for you with these Ruger only rounds. So what's my final thoughts here of the Ruger only rounds that I just made up in 45 Colt? My hand hurts a little bit. Those uh, first three weren't bad. That fourth one, actually the third one and the fourth one, the uh, trigger coming back into my finger and knuckles smacking it was kind of hurting. But I can tell you right now, the uh, lowest charge I would definitely load some of those up and bring them to the range to have some fun with. We might do that after I get some more Starline brass cleaned up, even though I did have that one crack. That that one, leave a comment down below if you guys uh, got any idea on that. I've never really had Starline brass crack before, and it was just that one. Very interesting on that one. But besides that, these were fun rounds. They are definitely one of the most powerful rounds that I have made for a handgun so far. And even though it was painful, of course, if it's uh, hurting you, it's a lot of fun. And that's what this was. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there, I'll have links to Axel Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. Some got discount codes to save you guys money, and some of them are affiliate accounts that do help out the channel. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God. And I'll see you all on the next one.